Okay, I'm gonna be fixing my lady friend's Apple Watch Series 3 right here, as you see. This thing's been dead since she was, what, ninth grade? And now she's almost 19. <laughs> so, pretty insane, pretty insane. Uh, water damaged, or so they say. Because she was in a pool when it uh, decided to croak. But one thing is, it does turn on. So it does work. See that? Just the battery sucks. So, got a Series 3. That is a very bright Series 3 battery right here. Because the battery sucks. Then we got adhesive. Use it on her other Apple Watch. And then a little adhesive. Um, what do you call it? Adhesive, like a little dot for the battery. And then toolkit. So, yeah. So now let's try to do this. I'm using the light on my. I'm using the light on my camera. Not on my camera, but like the external light on my camera. Science. Oh, yep, it's in, it's in there now. Yes. Fun fact, this is the first time I'm actually opening a screen. Her last Apple Watch, this, the battery popped the screen up. There we go. Is that cable good? Yes, the cable is good. Perfect. I really don't want to have to take the screen off. Her car has those cables. I really do not want to take that off. So I'm going to try to pry the battery up without taking the screen off. That's probably dangerous and retarded and stupid, but I kind of don't want to take the screen off. Because I, I know how hard those are to take off. Uh, this might do it. So the good thing is the adhesive is actually decently new. I think I'm able to do this without taking the screen off. Just be careful so you don't puncture the battery. Be careful with the screen so you don't knock it off. Like, be careful. Like, make sure you can actually get this thing to the bottom and then pry. You're not prying, like, onto the side of the battery. Now that adhesive is actually pretty new. Pretty fresh. Get in there, push it up. Oh, 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 oh. The battery is kind of swollen, dude. Where is this plug? Oh, I forgot, I think I have to take that off. I don't know if I have a screwdriver that size. Wait, yeah, I do. Oh my gosh, I forgot. The toolkit. Came in, came in clutch. Do, do I not have a bit for this? Oh yeah, I got it. Oh, the junk. Yes, they're magnetized. I was like, I was like, feeling fall in there. But they're magnets, come on, okay. I need to remember that that's there. Okay, so now. I think it's just sick how tiny these things are. I think I can zoom in so y'all can see. I think it's just sick working with tiny stuff like this. It, feels, it makes you feel like an absolute boss. Oh my gosh, that leaves that screw. Yes, collect. So this battery's actually a little chunky as well. Here, I'm, I need a texture. Voila. Oh yeah, way skinnier, dog. Way skinnier. Oh my gosh. This thing is sharp. This stuff right here, sticky as junk. I accidentally unplugged the old touch feedback thing, Jiggy plug it back in. So now that's in. 
I push the battery down. The adhesive stick. This is probably going to be the most annoying part. Okay, I think I got it. Finally. Let's see if it turns on. And boop. It works. See the logo right there? It works. Hey, when you don't have a clamp, find a guitarist. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, music helps everything. So don't, don't do it too tight, but do it tight enough. Voila, voila. And then I'll get a wipe, wipe around that here. Also, I just realized I'm probably gonna get a bunch of questions like, bro, why is your right fingernail big longer than your left one? Cause I always seem to get comments like that whenever I have my hands <laughs> in the video, like I have them right now. That's because I play guitar, hence why I have a capo. So, and I like finger picking. So instead of having to carry pick everywhere, I just use my fingernails. So, we'll be back in a second. 